Hi everyone, thank you for clicking onto this video. Um, this video I'm going to show you around the Babbel website which I'm learning French on and give you like a little bit of review on how I'm finding it and how it works and things like that. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about how good at French I already am or what I was doing before that. I'm not going to compare it too much to other programs because I want to talk about that in the video for my new series Fortnightly French which will be starting soon. Um, if I've already started making those videos I'll put links around here or in the description so you can um, view that series which will be following me as I'm learning French. Um, but in those videos I want to do a comparison of Duolingo and Babbel um, so that won't be too much in this video and um, so yeah I guess I'll just get on with it I'll show you kind of how the website works and then depending on how long the video gets either in this one or in another one which I'll of course link um, I'll show you kind of what this lesson is like so with Babbel, yes, you do have to pay for it, um, but I have to say that for me, it's been worth every single penny. Um, and yeah, I think I think it was, for me in the UK, it's about £18 for three months or about £5 for one month. Um, I guess they, they do let you try some of it for free, but I think the bit that they show you for free really doesn't show you how good this program really is, in my opinion. Um, I'll go into a bit more depth of why I think it's so good in my video where I compare it to Duolingo. So I'll just begin by kind of showing you around the website. So this is like the home page. I don't know if I have it zoomed in or not. Um, so here you have um, the, your main course, the course that you're mainly doing. You can do lessons from all different courses. Some of the courses are vocab focused. Some of them are to mainly to focused on listening or write, reading or writing. Um, and you can do lessons from whichever ones you want. You don't have to do it in any particular order. Um, but on the front page, you can opt to have um, your main course. You also have a daily challenge. Um, I probably I won't do this now, but this is a challenge that you do daily, and it's focused on vocab, and it will just bring up words and say, "Does such a such a mean such a such a?" And it's a bit of fun, um, but it's not really going to be the bulk of your learning. Um, so this is your course. Um, here you can start the lesson that you need to do next. This this is your progress so far. So these all represent lessons. Then when you've completed all of them then you've then completed that course and you actually get a certificate for that which I'll get onto in a minute. So if you decide to learn multiple languages they come up here. Obviously I'm not learning English I just wanted to see. Um, so if you do pay for the subscription it's only for that language because I thought when I paid for the subscription I was like oh that's so funny I can go on and learn English and try a little bit of Spanish. But No when you buy the subscription it's only for that language however you can have several subscriptions at once. So here you can see the language and um, your vocabulary which I'll get on into a minute, the course, your main course, you can do as many as you want at the same time and then your overall score. Every time you complete lessons you get scored for it on how well you've done and um, which you'll see when I show you the lesson in a bit. Um, so what happens is when you when you're completing the lessons anything that you learn gets saved into your vocabulary and basically uh, so everything that you've learned will put on here it's it kind of does phrases or vocabulary or when you're learning the tenses it kind of has sentences with words missing out and basically it has it it manages it all for you if I click on how does the review manager work so if you want you can pause this and read this if you put this in um, really good HD you should be able to read this it basically it tests you um, at like intervals so it's for the first day it's like the day after then it leaves a couple of days and then it tests you again then a couple more days and it tests you again if you get it wrong then sometimes it moves down and it's it seems like they've done it all scientifically and I think it's worked really well for me and um, I've really learn these words I don't even know how I just know them um, <laughs> so you have these different stages and at any point you can see all the all the words that you've learned you can like cut you can do them by like which how difficult the word is that how 
how well you know the word, what course you learnt it on, or you can see all of them. You can do it by alphabetical order in English or alphabetical order in French, or the number of times you, you've reviewed it or when you last reviewed it, and you can click on it and someone will say it for you normally. <laughs> okay, maybe in a, in a minute she'll start telling us about some ham, but this does normally work. I don't know if it's just my browser needs updating. So that's really great. And you can create a personalized list I've never used this, but I guess you can do that. Um, so they, I think they seem to suggest that you review 10 items per day. So if you're just doing one lesson per day, then I guess it adds 10 new items every day that you need to review. Um, but what I tended to be doing was doing multiple lessons. On some days, I was doing hours and hours of courses. So that is why it says I currently have something like 198 words and phrases to revise. That's because I'm doing loads in, in one go. You don't have to review them all at once. You can pace it out. But I, I do really think that this review manager is going to be where you memorize and where it gets put into your mind really all the words and the phrases and the grammar the courses are really good for explaining how to use things putting them in sentences you do get to do some speaking and listening but i think that review manager with the vocabulary that's where you really learn it and for me this has been great um, there is a mobile app which has the review manager on it as well so if you can't come onto your computer every day to do a review you can do it on your phone um, maybe I'll do a separate video where I show the app or maybe in a minute if there's enough time. So I guess I'll just start showing you a bit more of the, of the website. So this is where all the courses are. They're put into these different categories. I suggest um, if you've never learned the language before, um, I would go on to beginners courses. Um, so when you click on it for beginners French, there's six courses and that's supposed to get you up to level A2 and I would say that was accurate. Um, so each one of these courses has about 20 lessons which involves um, speaking, reading, writing, listening, grammar, vocab um, and all those go into the review manager. When you've completed it you get a certificate, um, it has your name on it, uh, it says this and They've now introduced that it now has the date that you completed it on and it says what was in it. So I don't know whether an employer would really respect this, but I really like the certificates and I know people who print them out and I, I love them. And I think I've got 18 so far or something like that. Um, so I've completed all of those. Um, I guess I'll talk for a minute about my time frame. I started doing Babbel at the start at the start of March. And it's now the start of July. So how many months is that? <laughs> March, April, May, June, July. Five months. So I have here, this is like a spreadsheet that I made showing these are all the courses. And that's the date that I started the course. And that's the date that I ended the course. So how many days it took me to complete. And these ones that are ongoing. And um, so if you want to look at that, pause now, put it in HD. You should be able to see... Uh, all the different things if you want to know how long it might take you to complete it. Um, I was pretty much doing this every day. On some days I was doing hours and hours and hours. Other days I was doing like 20 minutes. Um, so I, I don't really know how long, how long it would take you. Probably depend on how much time you have, how quickly you learn. Um, on some of the days I was going on and it was taking me an hour to do all of my review. So I wasn't moving forward with the lessons, but I was doing the review. And I think it's important to do the review of your vocabulary before you start doing more lessons. But I guess you see what works for you. Um, so that's that. Um, at the beginning, I was just doing one course at a time. And um, this pron pronouncing consonants and pronouncing vowels was kind of like included in the beginners course. Um, so yeah, I did the beginners courses, then I did the refresher courses, which is like kind of consolidating all the beginners courses. And um, then I started doing the in-depth course and then I started like wanting to look at all the other courses because they've got loads of stuff on vocabulary, they've got um, all these like things that are like so, 
uh, food and drink, body, society, communication, digital world, holidays, feelings, festivals, all these vocab ones that you can do. And I started like basically split up my attention instead of just focusing on one. Um, so that's why these ones seem to be taking longer. It's because I've been doing random lessons as opposed to just focusing on one. Um, which you can do if you want, whatever you like. So these are all the courses. I think you ca if you go on Babbel, even without a subscription, I'm pretty sure that you can see all of these names of everything that you can do. Uh, so yes, that's the courses and I've shown you the review thing. Um, I think the review does work really well. If I have one criticism, it's that, for example, on the beginners course you'll learn all the numbers and all the months of the year and all the days of the week and then if you go on to do a vocabulary course where you're doing um kind of just building up your vocabulary of different sentences used in everyday life and blah blah blah, blah it teaches you the numbers again but instead of recognizing that you've already typed in 18 19 20 and 30 sufficient number of times on the review manager and you've known these for months it will still it'll add it as a new word and um, which is good because if you've started to forget and that's why you've taken the course because you've realized you've forgotten the basic vocabulary then this is really good that it's added it back into the review but for me i find it a bit frustrating that i'm up till 11 pm at night typing in all the numbers and the days of the week when i learned all this stuff months ago but really it's a minor criticism and actually sometimes you are surprised that you've forgotten really basic stuff like the days of the week and stuff like that so I still think this is really great and you don't have to use this review manager you don't have to um but I think this is really good and I found as well when when my subscription expired and I hadn't paid again for the next month as far as I'm aware all of my review is still available so if you do some learning and you get to the point where you're happy with how far you've got, you can still continue to review your vocabulary without paying again, I think, but do check. Um, so a feature that I'm not really using is there is kind of like a social aspect to this where you can create a profile and you can talk to people and there's a message board and stuff like that, but I'm not really using that. It's not really what I'm interested in. And there's, of course, a help section. I'll just show you here, profile and settings. Uh, you can add your name and um, you can add an about me thing. You can talk about yourself, your interests. If you want to find other people who are language learners, and this could be really useful for you if you don't know anyone else who's learning your language or who's speaking your target language, this could be really good. I'll talk a bit more in my series about other things that I'm doing alongside Babbel, um, but at the moment I'll just focus on showing you the website. Um, so here is, you know, all your stuff about do you want to get emails? Again, for the social thing, you can um, use these things to say how well you speak different languages when you want to talk to people. And again, account information so you can manage your like credit card and everything that you're paying with, so I'm not going to click on that. So I think I've covered most of the website. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop and I'm going to start a new video where I'm going to do this course and I'll basically show you how it teaches it to you and you can see what it looks like when you're answering questions and when you get things wrong and stuff like that. So I'll put the link for that video below um, or here somewhere so you can click on that next. I hope this was a very quick show round of the website. If you have any other questions, post them below and I'm very happy to make another video where I talk a bit slower or focus on one particular feature. Um, as I said before, I do have a series starting where I'll be comparing this to Duolingo and I'll be talking about what else I'm doing to support my French learning. Um, and I guess if you're watching this in the very far future, then maybe a video where I go back to Babbel and say how I'm finding it a year on or something like that. So I hope you found this useful. Um, comment and like below if you want, do whatever. All right, see you. Bye bye.